A week after he was choked to death, the family of Jordan Neely is speaking out, saying through their attorney that passengers are not supposed to die on the floor of our subways. Now, police arrested over a dozen protesters who swarmed the tracks and stopped service. This was yesterday as they called for justice. And today, one week after the incident, we still don't know what unfolded in the moments leading up to Neely's death. Lisa Evers is live at the subway station where it all happened. Lisa, what's the latest. Well, Chris, that's right. It's been seven days since the fatal incident here on the F train took the life of Jordan Neely. Now, as the invest official investigation moves forward, the accusations are heating up between attorneys for the Neely family and the legal team of the man who put him in that deadly chokehold. 30-year-old Jordan Neely was well known as a Michael Jackson impersonator in the city's street performer community. But in recent years, a cascade of serious challenges like homelessness, substance abuse, and dozens of arrests, including for assault combined with mental health issues in a volatile mix. Last Monday afternoon on an F train at the Broadway Lafayette station, police say he was allegedly involved in an altercation with riders, including 24-year-old ex-Marine Daniel Penny, seen in this video restraining him with a chokehold. The city medical examiner ruled Neely died from compression of the neck. Penny was held, questioned, and released without charges. Penny's legal team said in a statement, quote, when Mr. Neely began aggressively threatening Daniel Penny and other passengers, Daniel, with the help of others, acted to protect themselves, end quote. Attorneys for the Neely family, however, issued a rebuttal to Penny's lawyer's statement, saying in part, quote, Daniel Penny's press release is not an apology nor an expression of regret. It is a character assassination and a clear example of why he believed he was entitled to take Jordan's life, end quote. But the lack of... <laughs> Several arrests were made in connection with that protest, and the MTA put out a statement calling it dangerous and reckless. Now, this case has touched raw nerves on all sides of this issue. The Manhattan DA is investigating, and law enforcement sources say that a grand jury could be convened this week. If that's the case and they decide to hear all the evidence, they would be the ones to determine whether or not charges will be brought against Penny. Reporting live from Soho, I'm Lisa Evers, Fox 5 News. Back to you in the studio, Chris. All right, Lisa, thank you very much much.